Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to the second episode of our Kingdom of Omashu campaign playing with Rome Remastered with the Avatar The Last Airbender Remastered mod. And as you can see from the map, last episode we began our expansion with Bumi attacking the plains village and conquering it, adding another town to our kingdom. And now there is a little... Uh, exclamation mark here because we are besieging it with Fong or faction air or amazing faction air with the the cataphracts of Omashu so powerful unit such a powerful unit and yeah one thing I forgot to mention guys the units and characters are fleshed out and they are supposed to feel immersive so look at that you have followers that are very accurate for the series Bumi has Flopsy, rightfully so, and he gets more personal security because it's a huge, cuddly monster that he loves. You can even have all a check, dysfunctional, he is kind of big, a commander, superior defender, tattoo grasper, earth banner, obviously white lotus, that's a good nod, neutral jing, and also uh, another very good nod because he needs to wait, he tells Aang that, obviously a talented bender. And you can have that in all the major characters. So... Mighty We're still losing general. quite a bit of money, not going to lie. Uh, we might have to, yeah, we're gonna pump you up. There's no point in taking you guys out. Or is it? Are you guys gonna be super busy Sire. if I do this? Because I... Yeah... I'm gonna have to... No, okay, no. Let's, let's Mighty wait. General. One turn, Move right? Out. And then maybe they sell you out and we'll see what happens. So let's go. And the quick end turns are a wonder. Absolutely love that. It's you you have quick end turns the whole game, essentially, because you only have very few factions. Oh look at that, new family member. Do we have we do have another general? We are making money, but this is very high and that's hard, so it's not necessarily my all the... Order, my liege. How we March. would like it. And if we put normal... Oh, Sire. oh it's gonna be Mighty close General. Enough. Mighty so General. let's move Onward. me. Okay, no, that's, that's gonna be too much. It's gonna have to be normal. And on March won't grow for one turn I do not like doing this guys but just so we stop hemorrhaging that much cash is crucial in the beginning of the game okay perfect we're here how many battering arms we have we have th th three okay so let's do it and continue our expansion into the desert it will be a fairly simple one, just need to be careful. What we want to do, like, we're gonna play most of the battles in the beginning of the campaign because it's incredibly important for us not to lose certain specific units and to utilize our generals to the best of our ability. Because as I said, the generals do regenerate, you don't need to keep retraining them to get the soldiers back. So as long as the unit itself of the general doesn't die, you can continue using the, these type of units. And this is very much needed in the beginning of every campaign because you are short on soldiers. Maybe not with the Fire Nation, but even the Fire Nation has their own little troubles. Okay, though, it's the gates that way, but that's alright because the towers won't annoy us. And there's one thing though. Not having, not having an earth thunder. Definitely not having an earth thunder with. Move, move, hurry! With this battling ram, that's move, not happening. Move, that is not DJ. happening. We're gonna put Boomy like ram. so, so that he can start attacking Lose. everyone else. Let's Missile. organize this a tiny bit so it looks better perfect we'll use you guys exactly like boomy however we will leave you behind a tiny bit we'll divide the lancers and the cataphracts like so and have let's let's have a quick little check before the battle commences shall we or spearmen in the front guards of omashu right here and our earth benders ready to fight for king boomy or lancers 
very cool looking with armor that these ostrich looking riders are gonna win us so many battles but this this beautiful thing oh my god the cataphracts of Omasho. do not lose phone guys obviously boomy is more it's imperative that you can lose or else you essentially lose the campaign do not lose do not buy whatever you do lose um, Fong because the cavalry unit that he has is just ridiculously powerful and now we just start moving Bumi because we want to deal with uh, the annoying sandbenders that they have we don't need to target the cell swords right now or spearmen the cell swords obviously are a more offensive unit as infantry goes than the spearmen because the spearmen are, are by nature a defensive one but our spearmen are do outclass them i do believe i believe so it should be all right and we want to really start dealing yeah there you go we want to start dealing with the sand banners earth banning all around earth flying everywhere we will lose uh units with the, the spearmen that is no way we can't and the uh, earth banners on behind will start pe uh, pelting the cell swords You do this. No, you guys take them. Please and take Your soldiers and the battling ram are at the wall. There you go. Now comes the test of their courage. How fast are they falling? Relatively good size. Look at that. Oh man, Earth, Earth, oh, Avatar, Total War. This is all what it is about. Bending all around, rocks getting chucked everywhere. Look at the sandbenders dying. Good thing we're only losing troops from Bumi. Oh my god, these sand banners are. Oh, the walls are also f almost falling. Okay, these sand banners are very, very. Attack! Almost half of them are gone. No, half of them are gone. Bumi will continue attacking these guys. Stand up, fight! Uh, yeah. You too. Keep focusing on these, these ones. How are the walls? We can't start kind of moving you forward. Yeah, there you go. and the gods smile upon you. The yeah, enemy walls go, are breached. Go, 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 go. We breached both walls. Perfect. All right. Uh, well, we have to fight it. We need to go in. It's just a matter of bringing you guys first. Ignore the sand banners if you can. Oh, these guys are gonna stay right in front, aren't they? Still have earth. We still have no, no, no. We still have sand banners that we need to deal with. But these sand banners are fairly done. So what you will do? Actually, you will attack them. You will attack. No, no. Will keep attacking them, you attack them, and you attack these guys. Because these cell swords now are gonna feel the pain, so are these ones. Just so many, so much, so much earth burning all around. Oh, are these spears doing okay? Push, push against the cell swords, and now what we're gonna try to do try to pull the the lancers in and these guys just because they stopped right in front which is so annoying but they, they will, they'll die very soon boom is still attacking them okay, we'll, we'll see we'll probably lose a one or two uh, lancer but that's okay how are these guys doing yeah they're, they're, they're i think can all stop and just charge our uh, faction air right there. Oh, look at that, we didn't lose a single lancer. That's wonderful. We'll start flanking and getting them in the center whilst we just straight on charge these guys. Going. These guys are suffering a little bit. It's 
so let's help him out. And now we can stop firing with These guys will break them. How is things looking here? There you go. Found you go inside. It's a bit tough to see because it's all the same color, but here are the cell swords completely wavering with the spears on one side and the cataphract looking thingies attacking. Not cataphracts, ostrich looking thingies. And here is our cataphract of Omashu. Bring them down, bring them down. Kill them all, kill them all. Sorry. Too much, too much water in traffic. Let's go, let's go. Uh, how are things here? Dead. Wonderful. Try to do this with minimal losses as we have quite a bit of expanding to do, ladies and gents. Wonderful. The enemy general has been killed and his men lose heart. Let's fast forward a bit. Because until we kill everyone inside. There you go. One lost 65, so that's actually fairly good. Look, the Earthbender is doing a good job there. All of them. Eh, but the MVP of the Spearman because they got 69. Sorry, I am stupid. I am childish. It's just, it's just how it is. Nice, 69. Perfect. <laughs> but there you go. Our second town added to our kingdom. And now we'll continue pushing northwards because this money situation is still not going to be solved, I think. Because we want the best possible scenario is we're having all our settlements on low low uh, tax so it grows faster and more people come in and they re generate more money and we can continue upgrading them the larger the towns more buildings better units it's just how progression goes isn't it there you go boomy conquered uh, yet another one let's just occupy it and this maybe means we can bring everyone to low it does mean we can bring everyone to low that is absolutely wonderful let's start repairing and building uh basic infrastructure buildings roads for you no roads for you as of yet we will take you out my man we are gonna take you out because we need uh, actually let's leave you for a second and what we'll do is take our son our, our faction there, build some wonderful build watchtowers to see stuff and we'll start March. going northwards because I do believe there's something there that I want to find and and no, we'll, we'll bring you out because I have a, a task for you Forward. building watchtowers, that's that's what you're gonna do uh, and there's no point in taking Science. these guys because they can move faster Forward. because they're cavalry but there you go, we're expanding a little bit our empire. Let's see what happens next turn. No outlaw attack, that's good, what happens? Hey, someone got married, wonderful, wonderful for them. We want more people, so we have more generals. Definitely roads, roads are obviously, they give what they give. Improve routes and increase character movement by 25%. What they also do is like by just creating the roads, you have a better idea where the settlements that you can see are if you follow them. So another reason to really go for roads as soon as you are able. Now we'll do the same thing. And this is a bit worrying because we do need infantry. As, m as cool as having a whole army of earthbenders is, we do need infantry, like infantry is needed for the battering rams, for a lot of other types of things. I don't think we need a watchtower right here, so that is alright. Uh, nothing that I can see that's too bad. Not making too much money, but we're not losing money, and now everyone is on low, and it should be growing rather well. So let's keep going forward. Aha! This might be bad. This might be bad. What are you? Okay. We, we, we can do this. This this is doable. Um, they don't have any spears. So, <laughs> it will be a lot of running around, guys. But we can do this. So let's go. They don't have any spears. So that should be alright. 
If they had spears, it would be troubling. But what we need to do is just divide them. So in the beginning of the campaign, guys, the battle, we need to fight most battles because we cannot afford certain units to die and we need to utilize our generals to the fullest extent. So there's going to be a lot of running around, maneuvering, making sure their Today soldiers start uh, the, getting divided. So bear with me because it's going to be a lot of clicking and moving, but that's okay. We need to divide their soldiers as much as possible whilst remaining outside of the range of their send letters, right? And what we'll do, we'll do that. Hopefully, by like so. I keep moving our soldiers. Okay, see the sand banners did catch a bit, but for no real damage. We need to get out of there. Ah, we lost one already. This is what I don't want. But this is good. We're separating this these guys a bit. And they are outside of our range for now. So what we'll do... Move, move. Move, move. Let's just reform. Perfect. They divided their forces. It's exactly what we want. So now we can straight on charge. Ready. Let's focus on one unit. There you go, see? If you divide the forces and use these the cavalry effectively, uh, they are incredibly powerful. Now we do want ah units run! Move at cavalry! Run! Mighty chest with all haste! Regroup cavalry! Get the lancers out of there. Still all right. We still are okay. Get away from them. Quickly. Quickly. Run. With all haste. That's actually perfect. With all haste. Because now Quickly. we can charge their faces. Charge. Hopefully not die. Just keep bringing these spearmen that way. Oh. How dare you! How dare you! Stupid sandbenders. Die. Now they're trying to go here and help them. Please don't die. Wipe them as long as Fong doesn't die, it does not matter. Break them, break them. job we broke the sand banners lost a lot of us in the process With all haste. but we got it Hurry. 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 Run. Okay, there you go that's what we want Run. encircle them and 
Turn your backs. Quickly. Yeah, turn your backs. Turn your backs. That's what we want. Faint the charge. If they come back, we can't kill them. Lost quite a bit of soldiers, but we did what we needed to do. Let's just continue a tiny bit because these guys will return to their homes. So I'm going to go after these guys. Just mopping up. We, the, the more we kill, the less soldiers go back to the settlement. settlement. That's the goal. There you go. General dead, I think those guys are gonna escape. Yeah, escape. That's a fight. I mean, uh, we lost almost half of us. But look at that. Cataphracts of Marsh. Ah, didn't heal that many, huh? It's okay. Ah, but the Lancers. Nice. Lancers getting healed is wonderful because Cataphracts will re re uh, regenerate automatically. But there you go, see? They, they do a lot of damage. 314 the Cataphracts killed. That's ridiculous. There you go. Ah, little survived. We survived. Barely, but we survived. Select. Keep. Edit. Victory! Let's go, let's go. Mighty and now we found you. For with only one Orders. troop, which is wonderful. Onward. Onward. Couple times we'll get there, we're still alright in money. Let's move you guys here, because yeah, you do utilize the the geography, guys. Because if you put, obviously, if you put watchtowers in higher ground, you have a, a longer line of sight. So do try to utilize so you spend less money on um, on watchtowers. If you're like me, that loves putting watchtowers everywhere, because I, I I want to see what the hell is happening in my territory. Don't need to recruit. Uh, sand banders, but these these are these are specific buildings. The small C1 caravan. These are specific buildings, I believe, for the d desert regions, which is very cool. And then the silk trader only applies in certain regions. It's not that common, and we're gonna go to silk trader because that gives us a good amount of bonus in trade. And a report, nothing to see. All right, we're bringing our soldiers up, and let's end turn. All right, Earth Kingdom, do not attack me. Let's let's keep let's keep civil. Let's keep let's keep it civil, huh? Earth Kingdom. Let's, let's keep it civil, huh, boys. No no need to, to attack us. We're Move all out. on the same side here. So chill your beans. I like the Earth Kingdom attacking me is the last Build thing I tower. need at this moment. We can't do that, sire. Last thing. Is Move everyone out. still on low? Everyone's still on low. Everyone's happy. Wonderful. And yeah, now, now it's you. Starting to make some money. That's good. And all, everything on low. Sire. I do recommend always like trying to keep on low. Because if you ever have trouble with money, you just need to pump up your, your taxes. Hmm. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Emerging army. Let's go. We'll attack it and take it. Let's Sire. first... Move out. Let's move a bit more. Let's not build it here. Let's build it like around here. Move let's get close. But let's go. I do believe. What's this? New family member. Hey! Nice. You're. F don't know who. Oh, this is this guy? Is this Ruel? No, this is Theo. Oh. Alright. Have enough soldiers. Oh, 70. That's actually not bad, huh? Save them. Utilize our generals. It's only one. Ah, we need to wait one more turn. Annoying. Alright, so do we build anything else? Land clearance is a good one. Do I have land clearance here? 
No, no, no. We'll get Clan Clan so much for extra growth, okay? And turn. Quick and turns are wonderful. Absolutely love them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright. Uh, let's have another battle. Ah, we have two. Wonderful. And again, we're gonna win this easily, but I wanna fight all these early battles because we need to make certain certain units survive that's a lot of certainty in the same sentence apologies but yeah we can we can afford to lose earthbenders or lancers we desperately need them in this early part of the the game so we really need to utilize our generals to the best ability victory is near at hand mm. with my orders no towers wonderful okay so let's just you go straight there. Whoa, 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 whoa. You abandoned the ramp. You, you're right, sir. We only have one. We only have one. We, all, we will only use one because the unit there are sandbenders. And we do not want to get attacked by sandbenders, obviously. Because we're trying to do this with minimum casualties if we can. That would be lovely. So let's with go. Move you forward. Mighty Boomy, general. the Mad King. Go do your stuff. Quickly. Hurry. Yeah, yeah, hurry, hurry. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Just the Earthbenders somewhat Move here. But Boomy, general. Boomy will. He will deal with the Sandbenders like, quite comfortably by himself. Because he's the, the faction leader. He does have a, a larger. Um, contingent, a larger regiment of guards of Omasha. Go close, bro. Like, this is Roman Master after all, so there are some limitations. Okay, wonderful. Start chucking all the rocks because they are doing so as well. There you go. And actually, let's. Here, here, and I want Fong right there, because he'll charge in and attack it. If Boomy doesn't kill it, kill the, the Sandbenders before he break through. <laughs> Look at that. There you go, we Your soldiers have broken through the gates. Do we need to charge? Now order them on and help the enemy! Okay. The no, Boomy, not you, not you. God damn it, Boomy. I, I always, I'm always scared. 10 to 96, I'm happy with that. I'm always scared when, like, the, the little cutscene happens, when, like, the general dies. I'm like, please tell me that's not Fong. Please tell me that's not Fong. Because cavalry is incredibly powerful, but if your general charges a unit and the unit just by defense stance kills him, that's, that's it. You lose the whole unit. So you really need to be careful with positioning when you charge with cavalry generals or any generals ah yes and i forgot to say we do capture a wonder and obviously the mod is still in development so he will change that image eventually but yeah this is the library the library of washi tong the library reduces building construction times by 20 percent this has no effect on buildings that take less than five turns to complete it's really good later on in the game and affects your whole Faction. The library of Wan Shi Tong is a mysterious place with books, collections, and information from many corners of the world, with the spirit that knows 10,000 things and a little foxy friend that brings knowledge to the library. So now we'll do the same thing as we done previously because there is a territory right there that we will take to control the desert and that's what we want to do in this episode. Let's drop you to normal. Now we do have an issue. We only have one melee unit. So we'll have to recruit. We don't have that much money, do we? We could recruit a spearman. And wait. No, no, no. Yeah. Let's let's recruit a spearman. Because we, we, we need them. We could recruit a levy, but spearman is better. Wonder captured. Yeah, like right here, the tower of the, the library, like, cause you only can see the top, not all of it, obviously, because it's under the sand. Okay, we're recruiting Mighty that general. one because we're gonna have to leave a unit behind 
and we'll see if we leave the spearman or one of the earthbenders depending on what we see and how long it takes but yeah there you go we are expanding guys look at that jim g bay misty palm oasis it's going all good oh no no okay ah we can wait we can wait let's go my my urge to build watchtowers almost took the better of me making making me make, make stupid decisions a lot of merchants huh now you're actually not bad but we uh, but we don't want anyone at the moment we're just getting better in money so let's let's build a watchtower because we do need a watchtower here and we can we have a nice clear sight of everything around us and there you go we found the territory that we want to conquer build a watchtower right here can we recruit just send vendors one more time we can bring you up what do you have you have four soldiers okay Mighty let's orders. actually Mighty leave an earth bending unit March. behind since we have boomy that should be fine yeah they they are all right because it'll take Forward. three turns for you Mighty to get there General. and you will take a little bit one turn for you to finish we have 700 gold let's see what we can do with it Ooh, land clearance here is not that shout but roads 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 are important we want roads everywhere that's like the first thing but look a thousand with everything on low or beginning issue of money seems to be started now that we expanded to the desert regions so that is wonderful just need to be click, click, clicking for those pesky ah now you're a bit better yeah we'll get you where are you ah, sorry no i don't want i don't care that much about your your you i just want to know where you appeared bro here oh it was here wonderful we can actually even take the the earth is out now okay. let's engage the enemy do what we do best it'll take another turn can you recruit oh, just a sand bender sand benders are pretty expensive don't worry we'll we'll still keep building our watchtowers with tail and look at that we even found a new territory that we do want to expand remember the plan is to send fong with the army and take the territories outside while we push maybe against there's a territory here against the earth kingdom here and the fire nation should be very close so ah this is gonna be so annoying i'm not gonna be able i'm not gonna be able, I'm not gonna be able to live with this move out i'm not gonna be able to live with this there you go Sorry, there was going to be like a, a tiny little spot of blackness that I wouldn't be able to see because of the way I'm putting the ta watchtowers and I'm not having that. So we have a watchtower right close to Jibei. That's all right. That is okay. There's an adopted, yes, another general, but we're still making 500, which is solid. And we can take you out. Everything should arrive in two turns at least. Let's see what happens. Oh no, Fire Nation. Fire Nation, but we're already there. <sighs> this one will be a bit tougher, you know. All right, guys. I think this is uh, a bit too much. Because they're going to be selling out the town. They're going to be annoying. And there's... Uh, yeah, let's... Let's uh, retreat for now. Run for your lives. And we'll see what the happens. We are at war with the Fire Nation anyway. So if they attack it or us, we'll deal with them. Uh, no, no, we don't. We, we, we want to keep it like that. But there you go. Let's just Forward. unite Lining and Arsene. then attack. Because now we actually battle. have an army and we'll Mighty bring these guys now. right here and these Mighty soldiers should be monster. arriving next turn but there you go the fire nation we finally found them they're right here with three units should be okay for now but there you go second episode we expanded our territories and conquered the majority of the desert and taking the library the just the library is the washington library isn't it 
But there you go, guys. Next episode, we'll start attacking Mesa, maybe finding some firebenders. But our little kingdom is growing. Let's just have a quick check. And look at that. We just discovered this territory and we're sieging now. And as you guys can see, we have the majority of the desert for ourselves. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching episode 2 of the Kingdom of Omashu campaign. Hope you all enjoyed and see you guys next time.